Mm, get a tragic here and this is just a quick video to go over how blocking and brutal and fast and all this kind of things work in May tonight because there's some pretty heavy confusion going on here so I want to go over it and the confusion is actually on my part uh, I have to thank a guy called Darren and another guy called Arthur who have been chatting with me in the comments and have basically pointed out that I've been playing Mage Knight wrong since day one. This is a rule that I've always got wrong, apparently. So it's time to move on into correct play field. So let's go over it and see exactly how this all functions. The way blocking and damage and stuff works in Mage Knight is that there isn't really an attack value, so to speak, in the traditional sense. These numbers on the left, so we've got four, seven, and six, are actually what I call block values. They're values required to block. Okay, I think that's a much easier way to think about them now. So to stop an attack from going through in Mage Knight, you need to create an equal amount of block or greater than the incoming attack value or the block value. So to block this, I need four. To block this, I need six. To block this, I need seven. Except we have some modifiers in play here. This thing here has fire element on the attack, which means if you don't block with the correct element, your blocks are halved, which means that you have to block 12. Okay. Now you can mix t different types of attacks, and I'll talk about that right at the uh, blocks. I'll talk about that right at the end because it's unnecessarily complicated for the point of this video. And this one here has swift, which I always call fast for some reason. And what that does is double double the block value and nothing else. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is that the the block value is a completely separate entity but using the same number as the attack value so again to block this is four to block this is 12 to block this is seven because we're just going to talk about normal non-elemental blocks right now if you are unable to block regardless of how much the block value is you then calculate damage based off the fit the number, the attack value. Once I can't block four or I can't block 12 or I can't block 14, I then receive damage four, six or seven. But again, we now have some more modifiers. We have uh, brutal on this guy and this guy. And this is where I've really tripped up over the years. So if I zip up over to here, you can see what it says is in page eight that with Brutal, you deal twice as much damage as the attack value. And they deal damage by equal to its attack value, okay? So basically the attack value is a damage value and the block value. So to sum up, to successfully block, I need to produce four, 12 or 14. If I fail that, it's a completely separate thing and now I'm assigning damage based on those numbers. But Brutal doubles those numbers. So this is actually eight and this is 12, but this stays seven. Now the way you work out damage is really easy. Uh, you just, this is a, a armor value. You just keep doubling your armor value until you're equal or higher than the incoming damage, okay? So for example, if these didn't have Brutal on them, this would be six. So that'd be three, six. Okay, we've equaled or higher, that would take two wounds. This guy is four, right? So it is three, four, uh, three, six again, which is higher than four, so that's two wounds. This one is seven, which is three, six, nine, which is three wounds, and that's how you assign damage, okay? The reason I've been getting this brutal thing wrong for so many years is because in most cases, it actually works out the same. For example, this one here, if I don't block that, I have to beat six damage, which is one, two, which is three, six, which is two wounds. And then what I've been doing is just doubling it for four wounds, okay? 
But if I do it correctly, this becomes 12 and it's 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, which is actually the same result. So in many instances, I basically have the same result. But let's have a look at this guy here. He has four. So when I'm doing this the old way, it'd be three, six wounds doubled, which creates four wounds. But if you do it correctly, this becomes eight, three, six, nine. So I'm actually even giving myself more wounds than necessary for most of my run playing this game. So that is the way you calculate damage and that is the way you calculate brutal. You simply keep doubling your armor until you're higher than it and the brutal value doesn't affect the wounds at all like I thought. It doubles the attack value before you calculate how many physical wounds you receive. And this before this calculation changes another aspect of the game which I've been getting wrong, which is how blocking with units works, particularly units with resistances. So let's have a look at this, uh, this werewolf and we'll see how resistances work. Resistances basically work by reducing attack value. Okay, so if I take this, we're going to make this our attack value. We have attack value seven here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So the way resistance works is before anything happens, we take off three because this has resistance three. Okay, so that's boom, gone. And that's all very well good. That leaves four attack value left. Now, if that initial minus three right at the start reduced this attack to zero, then the entire attack is absorbed and that's the end of it. But we still have four points of damage or four points of attack value left to deal with. So then what happens is you then take away the next three because this armor is three and that still leaves one point left. And when you do that take, it wounds him and there's one point left we have to deal with. We have to put in another unit or we have to take into our hand. And again, remember you make wounds by doubling the armor value until you beat or equal. So we've got one attack, boom, three that makes one wound into our hand okay so let's let's do something uh a little bit easier than the seven let's look at this one but pretend it doesn't have brutal the way it would work is it'd be one two three four wounds right so we'd first minus the three for the physical resistance we have one wound left so we wound the unit we take off the three for the armor again. That leaves nothing left. So there's no wounds transferred to another unit or to the Mage Knight, okay? But remember, this has Brutal and it's not about doubling wounds. And this phase, the assigning damage to the units phase is not blocking. It doesn't work in the same way of blocking. It's about assigning the physical damage. So this is actually eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack is coming through that we have to deal with. So we take off three for the resistance. We take off three for the actual wounding of the unit. And that leaves us two damage left to deal with, which of course, because we've got three armor, three is higher than two. That means that's one wound goes to the Mage Knight. Okay, and this really changes a lot of the dynamics of how units work for me with, with Brutal. So this guy here, he's six attack, which comes out as 12 Brutal. One, uh, 12 Brutal, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? because Brutal doubles that value. So this makes Brutal very, very, behave very, very differently. 
So we minus three. We we can't minus the three because this is physical resistance and this is an uh, this is a fire attack. So we have to wound the unit and take three off. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage to deal with. Three, six, nine. Okay. So because we had physical, because we don't have uh, resistance to fire on this unit, that initial, th we, we basically only got to remove three. So let's pretend, for example, that this had brutal. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It would be three for the physical resistance. It would be three for the block. This would get wounded. And that would leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would be three, six, nine wounds. That's uh, three wounds in hand. And that's pretty much how this all functions. So while I'm here, I'll also quickly talk about elemental blocks. Uh, well, so yeah, so that's pretty much that. So to recap, okay, just to do a short, quick recap. When blocking, the number that you're looking at here, the six, the four, the seven, is actually the block value to stop wounding. In this case, it's 12, 4, and 14 because of Fire Elemental and Swift. Once you completely fail to block, that's when you assign damage. In this case, it's 8, 12, and 7. And you assign damage by doubling your armor until you equal or surpass. If you're using units, you minus the attack value by its armor value and give them a wound. If they have a resistance, you do it twice, once before and then once after. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I hope that's made it a bit clearer. It's definitely clearer in my mind. And I blame Scott Smart for this because uh, he's the one who basically taught me how to play and uh, he did not teach me this. So I blame him. It's definitely not my fault. <laughs>